So Chris, let me know when you're done and when you're okay, if you're okay with them. Yeah, I'm okay with them. That's the 10 14 meeting. Uh, so, Chris, you move to approve them? I move to approve them. The meeting's at 11 3. Okay. I guess I second. Um, and so you vote yes? I vote yes. And I vote yes. So, minutes approved. Okay. All right, moving on. So, um, updates. Um, Chris, do you want to give us an update just on the JPA status? Sure. Um, so, Alan has Alan's reviewed the JP uh, JPA draft JPA, put his own questions and comments in. Didn't really have a lot of edits, but he put questions and comments in. Um, and uh, now him and Rick are going to get together and look over the thing together. Um, and uh, I know the last I saw was Alan had reached out to Rick, I think it was yesterday, asking him if next Monday would work. So hopefully they will get together next Monday and hopefully they will kind of touch base on everything so that we have a fairly clear direction when they're done. But I suspect there will probably still be a few questions. Um, but once once they're done, we'll take what they have. And I assume the next step is to for us to then go through and work work their comments in as need be or develop turn them back into questions. And hopefully we can just do a one back time, one one time around and be done. Um, would it make sense to meet with them like once they both have their comments? Would it make sense to meet with them? Yeah, it might. But why don't we why don't we see what their comments what they come back with once they actually go through the thing together? Um, okay. And I think that's what we were waiting for from the very you know from way back when um, was for them to go through it together and come up with a common set of of comments and stuff for us. And then then yes, it might very well make sense for us to meet all together. Okay. And I'll be pushing for the staff in as soon as possible. Okay. So you're just going to wait depending on what their comments or questions are? I mean, I think it's more important for them to meet together than it is for us to meet with them. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you think we should just all go through everything at once? I think it's better for them to go through. No, 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 no. I think they should meet together first. I'm yeah. saying that after they meet and they sort of, if they get on the same page about things, mm -hmm. but they both collectively have a few questions for us would it make sense to schedule a meeting with them together with them and us to sort of answer some if they have any outstanding questions would it make sense to meet with them about it so that we can just hash it out and not keep going back and forth at this yes. point yes you know i'm just thinking that you know for it may actually save time if we meet with them so we can talk it through okay yes i think we're saying the same thing okay all right. Okay, great. And let's see, what else? Okay, so I guess that moves us to the CCA next steps. I was hoping Tom would be here, but he's shortly on his way, I think, but not here quite yet. Um, so the outreach and education plan. Um, I'm sorry, my dog is going to be most annoying right now, unfortunately. Um, let's see, he wants to play. <laughs> sorry, buddy. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm just trying to go to my documents here. Um, let's see. I'm just going to open a document and I'll share my screen. So just give me one second and then I'll share my screen so I can share this with everybody. Okay. 
Okay, just let me know that you can see that. Yep. Okay. Um, so I think, so this is the document that um, Marlena put together and um, consolidated, you know, our input and then cleaned it up and made it look better and all of that. So, um, but she had a few things for us, I think, still. Um, I know initially she had something about an, we had had something about an initial handout that we were going to do, and she had questions about that, um, whether that was something that, you know, was necessary. Uh, and I think our response was basically like, would it hurt to, you know, it doesn't hurt to sort of for us to just kind of get the ball rolling. So I think they wanted to know what that would be. So is this something that we, and we could do this if it's, even if it's not in the plan, right? It doesn't have to be in this plan for us to do it, but right. if it's in this plan, we have to do it. Is that, is that the way it is? Right. Yes. Yeah, then I, I, I'm not sure why we would have it in the plan then. We should just take it out and think of doing it, yeah. Okay, I don't have a problem with that. I can just see a scrambling last minute. <laughs> they yeah, get like, hand out together. <laughs> like, oh no, we didn't do the initial one. <laughs> so, because she said there was already going to be one. So, why, I guess her point was why, if you've already got one, why do you have to have an initial one? So, yeah, okay. Um, but I think that partly came from Valley Green Alliance members who wanted to get something started. So, again, we can do that. We just don't need to put it in. Yeah. So, we'll take that out. Okay. I'm just making a note. Um, and then I guess we want to just sort of look through this list, I think, and make sure that this is really the organizations that we want to include, because again, we have to reach out to all of these folks. Um, I mean, I don't think there's anything, anyone on here, at least from our standpoint, that we wouldn't. Again, I think that we said last time um, there's a number of congregational-based green groups. Um, I wouldn't. But we don't have to list them. Specific, yeah. Yeah. So United Universalists. Oh, yeah, that's, well, because they're specifically a climate group. Well, there are climate groups in multiple um, congregations. So are you saying we should take that one out? I think we should just say congregations. You know? Okay. Uh, you know, congregational green groups. Stephanie, can you scroll up just a little bit? Yep. I see the bottom of page two. No, other way. Sorry, yeah, there, yeah, thanks. Yeah, Amherst Survival Center, but not the Hampton Survival Center. Unless it's below, I can't see it. Um, so you're saying, let's see, uh, I don't know that it is. I guess I want to scroll down just a little bit. Sorry. So I'm just trying to determine whether or not we have to reach out to every one of these if we have them on the list here. My understanding was that we do. Yeah. Um, that if we put it in here, we have to reach out to them. So we can always add more, but we can't do less mm -hmm. and we can't outreach to less. But if we say we're going to outreach to these groups, we're supposed to. Um, oh. We also have NAA, Amherst NAACP and two degrees on the same line. They're two different organizations. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can edit that, but all right, I'll correct that. 
Yeah, also there's Northampton Association's Northampton Neighbors. I'm not sure what Northampton Neighbors is. It's uh, supporting um, independent living for elderly people. Okay. It says Valley Community Development should have corporation. Valley Community Corp or do feel Valley Community Development Corp? Yeah, Valley CDC Community Development Corporation. Did the Latin, the Hispanic service organization in Northampton go defunct? Which one? I can't remember its name, but it used to be the, the Spanish speaking service organization that served, you know, in Northampton. For some reason, I can't remember the name right now, but whenever we did, or we did outreach, we always worked with them. There's so many organizations that we could be reaching out to and that, you know, I hope we will. Um, Andrew, your voice is very, very quiet. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, I see why. I've got the wrong one in my ear. Um, I'm also trying to be quiet because I'm at the, I'm, I'm watching the baby. She's so oh. How nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so I think we want Casa to. Casa Latina. That was it. Is Casa Latina still there? Sorry. I don't know. No, I, I'm sorry. Can I stop sharing for a second? Oh, no, no, I don't have to. Never mind. Um, Tom is here and I'm trying to see if I can get him in. Let's see. I mean, all we're saying here is that we will offer to speak to staff and to constituents to provide information about the program. So I suppose if all of these organizations take us up on that, <laughs> it's going to be a bit of work. <laughs> it, it's just a very uneven list. We have Forbes Library, but we don't have um, Lily or Jones. <laughs> um, or the one in Pelham. Yeah, I mean, can't we just say um, area libraries? Area libraries yeah. and area congregations. And so, okay, so remove specific libraries and specific congregations and put just area congregations and area libraries. Yeah. Yeah, that gives us more wiggle room. So Tom, I know you just joined us. Um, we're going through the education and outreach plan and just looking at the list one more time um, and fine tuning it. So this Sounds is- good, thank you. Apologies for being late. No worries, glad you could be with us. Same thing with the schools. You don't have the Northampton schools here, but you've got Amherst, ARPS. So area schools, area libraries, and area congregations. And you could consolidate, you could do area schools and PGOs, PTOs. Simplify it. Okay. Um, Yeah, like the ARPS central office is very specific. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, so neighborhood associations and Northampton neighbors, I know someone said that earlier. I think Northampton Neighbors is the neighbor, is that the neighbor to neighbor platform no. or it's something different? Nope. And no, is it all one it. thing then? No. No, they're different things. Okay. So, and do we want to have both? Um, well, I think Northampton Neighbors is a specific thing. Northampton uh, Neighborhood Associations. It's just general. It's general. I know, Nor I know Northampton has a number of those. And it'd be best to keep it general because they sometimes become active and are very active, and then they suddenly kind of fade and they're not active anymore. Yeah. Um, and I'm assuming that Amherst and Pella might have some 
neighborhood associations too. So that includes everybody. Right. But we're keeping Northampton neighbors in. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like it's a good constituent. Is it seniors? What's that? You, I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with Northampton neighbors, but Andre, what, what you just said, yeah. it sounds like it caters yeah, to seniors. So, so. A, a volunteer seniors organization. We have one in Amherst. What if we, there's also Con Street Chronicle, a Northampton Senior Services Agency. What if we just say senior services agencies and take a bunch of these out? <laughs> yeah. We could even just say senior centers and senior service agencies or organizations. Okay, senior centers and senior service organizations. Mm -hmm. And then we can remove Denver Senior Center, Northampton Senior Center. Na Northampton neighbors. Con Street Chronicle, Northampton Senior Services. Uh oh, it's in there twice, I see. <laughs> okay. I'll go through that piece again. So yeah, so Con Street Chron Chronicle, we just want to take that out because it looks like it's through Northampton Senior Services. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, some of this might have come from Adele. Yeah, but if we're putting in senior services, we don't need it. You know, we don't have to have that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything else I should take out? Yeah, I think making these just categories versus, I mean, even, I mean, I know we have them listed, but even just saying, we could say things like, you know, area chambers of commerce and take out specific like Northampton, Amherst, just say area chambers. And, and bids, is it called a bid in Northampton? A business district? So yeah, do you have a business improvement district? We don't. Okay. They eliminated it. Yeah. They did. They they were forced to eliminate. It. Yeah. Forced. Why? So interesting. Um, the lead up to this list says exemplar organizations include. <laughs> right. It's not even. Yeah, it's examples. Not that they're all exemplar organizations, but I'm sure they are. Mm -hmm. And okay. also right below the list, it says an initial informational handout. Is that the same handout that we decided not to have above? Oh, uh, let me, let's see what this says. Oh, so it says Valley Green Alliance also developed initial program branding and initial and an initial handout. So yeah, and that sounds like the same thing. So maybe this one just wants to say the, the just check with Marlena and just Clarify which one, I mean, one of them they're going to do, right? Yeah, that's not theirs, though. I think this is the one because it said Valley Green Alliance developed. And I think that was us, right? Wasn't that, Andra, do you know? You're muted. Oh, yeah. Just just put a question in. I, I don't remember. I kind of feel like this isn't so important. <laughs> Well, I guess it's just a matter of the, you know, what we say and what we have, you know, what we say we're going to do, we have to do kind of thing. So, yeah. 
And it sounds, I thought that came from your group. I, I don't remember anything about it. Okay. Well, I think, I mean, so what I wanted to propose was if we leave it in above, like right under the list. So if we leave it in here, um, then when we get down here, we can just say uh, the handout, the initial handout will be provided um, to help educate the public about the program, blah, blah, blah. Then we'll be in the fu future tense and the other things are in past tense. Mm -hmm. So I think um, that must, I don't know. I'm sure Mar Marlene, is that her name? Marlena. Marlena can fix these things. Well, but she has to know what we're doing, that's all. So are we, um, sorry, I have to deal with something. They're doing a handout, so. Yeah, let's just, I think, right, just kind of ask her which one of those refers to the handout that they're doing and leave it in. And if it's not referring, referring to their handout, then we'll take it out. No need to have two handouts. So we'll remove whatever is ours and leave theirs. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, that was helpful because I think that'll help her too. So um so some of this is just the TBD stuff. And I think as far as, again, I just want to just take a quick look at these media outlets. I'm not seeing Amherst Media on this list. It's there right. via cable access above. Oh, got it. Um, but um, Northampton also has cable, so. That's Northampton Open Media, right? Is that what they're called now? Um, so what is it, Chris? I think it's up there. Northampton Open Media. That, that says local newspapers. Yeah, let me change. Pretty sure Northampton Open Media is cable access. So maybe she could check on that or we could check on that and then put it under cable access. So it's Northampton Open Media? Yeah. Is cable app? Is it's cable access. Okay. Okay. Um, right. Northampton Open Media, formerly Northampton Community Television. It's actually removed. Okay. Um, okay. Just wondering why we would put it in the Greenfield Recorder. Um, I don't know. The Zet and the Recorder are kind of the same thing. Yeah. This one's aimed at a different, you know, slightly different. So I think being in Gazette is all we would really need at the moment. We can always add a reporter in. 
And didn't we just want to sort of make it, put it out there in case, you know, there's some future interest? Oh, yeah, but we don't need to list it here. We can still do that. When, I think when we're ready to expand. So do we want to take out Greenfield Recorder? Oh, do we have it in there? We have Greenfield Recorder in here. We do. Well, it would certainly yes. be easy to do, just well, as easy as, yeah. you know, so. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think the, those some of those things, like when we do press outreach, it just automatically goes to those places. Mm -hmm. So and what about Northampton Department social media channels? How about we just say all other municipal department social media channels in case Pelham has some. Social media channels. So all other depart municipal. I think we could still do that. I don't think we need to have it in the list. So we could just say all municipal social media channels. Well, all yeah. And then get rid of the specifics. Or just say all other, so that if there's others, yeah, they're included. I think it doesn't hurt to have some specifics. You could say such as. I don't think we have to get specific with C. Amherst, Matt, Duck of Socials. Oh, I see what you're saying. So lose the Amherst and just have all other social media channels. So it doesn't say Amherst specific. Yeah. Got it. And you can put an EG in front of the C Amherst.gov socials. No, no, just take it out. Yeah. This yeah. isn't a specific, okay, that yeah. specific list. In that case, if you're going to take that out and you're going to take out Amherst Department, take out all other as well. Just say social media channels. Well, you've listed some social media channels already, so. Yeah, such as. Oh, I see what you're saying. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn are already listed. So I, I was just say saying all other, other municipal. Yeah. Munis all other municipal social media channels. Yeah. And just leave it at that. Okay. All right, and then the rest of this list were is just our local news channels. What about these web-based news agencies? Um, I mean, we've got Amherst Indie on there and the Amherst Current. Doesn't Northampton have some kind of local? Problem is I don't live in Northampton. <laughs> yeah. And Adele's not here. Adele already contributed to this list, so. Yeah, but we all did too, and now we're changing things, <laughs> so. Yeah, I don't think, I wouldn't add any more. I, I mean, no, I'm wondering if I'm just wondering, do we want to leave those in or change it to be no, which ones those, are you talking about? No, no, those need to be specifically mentioned. View web-based news agencies. It's, it, um, it, it's important to mention the Indian, the current. 
Well, that's why I'm wondering if it's equally, if you lived in Northampton as important, if they have something equivalent or are you then just we, not aware? Then we can, then we can do it when we do it. You know, if that's a miss, we can add it in. Okay. Yeah. I just want to, yeah, I just want to make sure, you know. Okay. Tom, doesn't Pelham have a, have a sign up thing that residents can sign up through the town hall, a uh, kind of a Pelham weekly news or monthly news thing. I think it's yeah. listed on here, Kathy. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's a newsletter. Oh, okay. I see. Sorry. Yeah, oh, the Pelham and slate. The yeah, Pelham okay. slate, and yeah, also yeah. there's next door Pelham is listed here too. Okay. Right. So next door Pelham is web based. Why? Why are we? lifting out other web-based news agencies yeah we could do that we could cons it would be cons uh, considered no no it's aid. not no it's not social media it, it, the the news agencies web-based news agencies are like newspapers but they're web newspapers it's not the same as social media I think it's fine to leave it like it is. Okay. All right. Well, we have some edits, but fairly minor. So the rest of that we'll leave as is. Um, and then the program website will be updated to include the following information. Did we come up with this list? No, I think that's something that they did. Yeah, so they're gonna and they're gonna come and they're gonna create the website. So yeah, no, I'm just wondering is that I just are we okay with that? Is there anything, you know? I, I mean I don't think I have anything to add, but I don't want to assume that others don't. So I just want to make sure you're okay with that or if you have anything that you think should be included. We've all reviewed it. I think it's fine. Okay. So I think this, I think, is the postcard that they were talking about for initial outreach. You know, when we talked about doing an initial handout above, I think this postcard is what they maybe were referring to. Okay. We're I don't know, but I can, I'll double check. I'll double check. You're, you're going to ask Marlena about the handout. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Opt out letter. I think we're probably good with all of that. So I'm just looking to see if there was anything else that um, Marlena noted. So we good with this section? You have to make the same changes there. Um, Just the um Get rid of Amherst and see Amherst among uh, those socials. Oh, just say Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Yeah, all other department social media. And then also, um, just have Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and lose the the specific Amherst references. Yes, the same as above.
Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. oh, I think there's a typo here, unless that was just an example. Oh, I think that's it for that piece. So, okay, I'll just um, make those suggested changes. I want to stop sharing that. Um, okay, so, and the other thing is the draft aggregation plan. Um, have folks had a chance to look at that yet? I, I did review it, yes. I didn't really have anything to add or subtract from it, but I... So again, where would I find that? Would that be on the town of Amherst page? That whole... So Chris, that file that I directed you to yeah. has all of our documents for the yeah, meeting. Okay. So for every meeting, you can always go to that. If you haven't seen stuff, you can always go to that website and those packets and our information will be loaded there. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think the what I had said, I think, was that the meeting materials were going to be exactly the same as the last meeting. So I had sent them for the previous meeting. Mm. I didn't resend them again. So I just said, just go to your meeting materials from the last meeting. So I could, let me see, I can look at Darcy's comments. Andrew, did you have any comments on that or were you just? Oh. Um, I'm... I didn't do a very deep <laughs> dive. On yeah, it. I don't think I did really either. Um, we could just look at the comments from Darcy. So just give me a minute. I'm just gonna get them up on my phone. It's easier. Okay, so her comments. She would like to request adding more language in the mission statement, indicating Valley Green Energy's intention to support the creation of new local renewable energy projects. Um, and she said the Cambridge Warden- uh, um, yeah, well, I've got it. I've only got it on my phone. Hold on. I'm just having trouble navigating a little bit. I don't want to lose the meeting or lose what I've got open so far. So hang on. Uh, let me just close out of this for a second. Sorry. Oops, don't want to do that. <laughs> I almost closed out of our whole meeting. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Okay. 
Okay, so I'll open up Darcy's comments first. But her comments are just kind of general comments. They're not actually in the, they're not in the, um, yeah, the document. They're just like separate comments. Right. The municipal aggregation plan doesn't, actually doesn't have them up for say mission statements. Yeah, it's just got that sort of opening. Yeah, statement. it's got an opening paragraph. Right, and I think that's what she means. So yeah, um, just hold on one second. So that's why I had her comments open separately, and I was going to mm -hmm. share the. Um, so I forward you all, I forwarded Darcy's email to all of you this morning. If you could open up that on like your phone or something, I could share the actual. Um, yeah, I've got it open already. Yeah, I've got the draft. Okay, so I can open the draft CCA and share that. I'm trying to think of which would be more useful to you, sharing the CCA or sharing the the comments. So, um, um, so why don't I share the CCA? I'm going to share this and I can read Darcy's comments and maybe that'll help. Okay, so you should be seeing this Valley Green Alliance plan October 21, 2022. Yes. Okay, so Darcy's first comment had to do with. Um, I think this opening paragraph, she's calling it a mission statement, but I think it's basically just the opening. So what she was saying was that Cambridge had some wording which said the program will feature renewable energy in the power supply as defined below, support for renewable energy projects, which she has emphasized and maximum consumer protections all at a price at or below the average price of basic service as defined below, power from the local distribution company as defined below. So she wants to add, so she wants to add to this. Um, so in this paragraph right here, Darcy wants to add, I'll read it. The Alliance developed the Valley Green Energy Program to bring the benefits of renewable energy and electricity choice to residents and businesses in the Alliance's member communities and to help those communities achieve their sustainability goals. The program will integrate additional renewable energy into the power supply, will, and then she added, support the creation of new local renewable energy projects and services in member communities and then continue the rest and will offer a selection of supply options as well as the ability to leave the program and return to utility basic service at any time with no penalty or fee. So she wants to add, will support the creation of new local renewable energy projects and services in member communities. My question is, is that a red flag or is that okay? Um, I mean, if you read it strictly, it says we'll support the creation. It doesn't say we will create them. It sounds like Cambridge's wording is a little different, though. Cambridge's wording says support for renewable energy projects. It doesn't say we'll support the creation of. I think there's a difference there. That's just my take in terms mm -hmm. of knowing how the DPU has been with these things. Mm -hmm. There's a difference in saying you'll support it versus saying you'll support the creation of. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I go with you there. Um, you'll support. Can we 
put in the stronger language and let Paul's team say, no, that's a red flag? So, um, Andre, the reason I'm going this way is that at the moment, we, you know, we have four different um, products that we will offer, one of them being the local or, or up to four, but we don't have to do the local. Um, I want to make sure we're not we're not committing ourselves to doing something. But don't we have to put it in so that I mean we're putting it in as a one of our four levels already. So if that's the case, then it says the program will integrate additional renewable energy into the power supply. That covers local as well as anything else. That covers everything. There's no need to put anything else in. Right, but I mean. Uh, we've, um, we've just sorry to interrupt. I, there's no chat, so I can't discreetly say I'm leaving. Okay. <laughs> but I agree with um, what Chris and Stephanie are saying. I don't think you want to get in trouble promising more than you're able to deliver. Um, have a nice weekend, everybody. Thanks, Catherine. Yeah. Enjoy your vacation. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Um, I, I see it as um, the consultant's job to keep us from getting in trouble. And we ask for what we want. Um, so and I'm, I I'm think not saying putting in local is. Um, it, it'd be easy for it to get. I mean, it's something that we want to be proud of and put forth, right? Yeah. So I, I'm. I mean, if it's just support, I I agree with Stephanie that if it's just support, I don't think you're going to overcommit. Yeah, I also so don't think you need it because it says integrate additional renewable energy in the power supply, so it's already covered. Well, but that's statewide. That that's talking about rec. Um, no, then it's 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 broad. It can you can integrate additional renewable energy into the power supply however you want to, however you possibly can. Um, but if and you that can include local, you, but if you really want to say local, then just support. We'll support. Okay. All right. Uh, so uh, can I just go back to the Cambridge wording? The Cambridge wording just says support for renewable energy projects, and that's what Darcy put in bold, that she wanted to have something like that in ours. I'm not opposed to having the support in there. I'm just saying, lose the word creation or the words creation of. Yeah, I'm agreeing. And just say support new local renewable energy projects and services in member communities. Because it yeah. doesn't say you're creating them. Yeah, okay. It's just saying you're supporting them. I, I right? said, okay, yeah. So, and Chris, you're okay with, just losing, so using that language, but just using the creation of, or creation of? Yeah. Okay. So just use the exact same language, except for the only thing we're adding here is local. Support for new local renewable energy projects and services. Which is very ambiguous. <laughs> so I'm sorry, Chris, you just said support for? Yeah, so take out, uh, take the creation of and replace it with the word for. He said more, not for. No, for. Support for? for. Just right. using the same. Oh, support for. Oh, I see. Support yeah, for. Yeah. New local renewable energy projects and services. Mm -hmm. Yeah, DOE, uh, I mean, DPU might actually kind of say, well, what do you mean by that? <laughs> well, we can yeah. address it later, but. Well, as, as we definitely want Paul's opinion. Yeah, so it, well, that's really want, we integrate, don't... it really is the problem will integrate, support, and offer. It's not support for. Can you say that again, Andra? This sentence has um, verbs. You're turning support into a, a noun. Program will integrate, support, and offer. Those are the verbs in the clauses. 
Oh, I see. Well, no, she's got it. The way I'm reading it is the program will integrate additional renewable energy into the power supply, will support the creation of. So we're just saying, you know, the program will okay. integrate yeah. and support the create the creation of. I, I'll just wordsmith it a little bit and you can look okay, at it. Okay, that's what you're saying, Andrew. You're saying basically don't use, don't put the word for in there. Just take the creation of out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think that's what I had said earlier too. Okay, yeah. Let's just take the creation of out. Yeah. Okay, let's Words move on. Yeah. So then the next thing, um, she wants to add language to the program options section. I think you just went by it's the Valley Green Standard, Valley Green Local. Oh, well, here we go. Yeah. Sorry. So, okay. So she's saying this language was included in the BGECCA draft. Modeling Cambridge language, is there a reason not to include it? Um, you'll have to look at her email for this because it's pretty long. Can, can you switch to sharing that? Um, I'm going to have to stop sharing this. Yeah. So where is she wanting to put this in? Um, she said in the program option section. So that beginning of that section where it says electricity choices. Okay. Wants, yeah, so she wants to add, hold on. So she wants to add this language. Stephanie? Um, yeah. I don't see Tom. Wasn't he here? He was here and I think he had to go. He didn't say anything. He just left. Oh, oh. no. He just disappeared. What he said was he, he did say that he looked at it and he said he didn't have anything, unfortunately, to add. So are you, um, but you're seeing the document, right? Yeah, it's too bad Darcy isn't here. Because I mean, so it seems to me what she's trying to put in here is, so the electricity, under electricity choices. Right. The aggregation plan says the program will give participants a choice in the percentage of renewable energy and price of their electricity supply by offering multiple program options. Because the integration of renewable energy into the power supply is a driving motivation for the program. Blah, blah, blah. The Alliance Santa Space offering, blah, blah, blah. So this is actually kind of saying, instead of you know the integration of renewable energy into the power supply being driving motivation, she's saying, I think she's trying to say here, Support for greenhouse gas emission reductions is the driving. Is the driving, right? Yeah. And I agree with that. I'm just not sure what the DPU will do with that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is this, you know, maybe this is one of those things. Um, I mean, in some ways, I feel like I want to have this conversation with Paul Gormer. You know, it just seems to me like we can sort of talk about, well, what do we think? And, but I, I almost feel like, it would just be a good exercise to meet with them and go through this and have these comments to have the discussion so we can ask follow-up questions and get clarification. Right. We can, um, I, I think the thing is that we want to, I guess we just want to be sure that we're on the same page. That's right. Yeah. That we're asking for it. Yeah. So are we basically on the same page that we would want to have this 
propose this and then have this follow-up discussion with Paul Gromer about this particular section? I would say so. I mean, we went over this a year ago or whatever mm -hmm. um, and agreed to it at one point. So, I mean, I'll give you my, my take on this right now. I think I, what I would like to you know, ask Paul as his feedback is, is if we basically replace because the integration of, or because reduction in greenhouse gas emissions is a driving motivation for the program, you know, exploring that. I mean, the details of A, B, and C, right. I don't think you need. I think it gets confusing and I think they become little red flags for the DPU to latch onto in the question. Um, you know, I would keep it as big and broad, but the reason I would be interested to see whether we could change it or not is because the integration of renewable energy is not the only way to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And we do want to stay broad and maybe we shouldn't, maybe, maybe he's going to say, you know, the DPU, DPU is going to just balk at that and you're going to take five years to get this going. Um, and if that's what he thinks, then I would stick with the renewable energy into the power supply piece. Well, that's my take on it. We should ask Paul whether it makes sense to make greenhouse gas reductions the driving motivation that we mentioned. Okay, yeah, so that's really the basic question. I think so. And I suspect it's ill-advised to mention A, B, and C. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I sort of feel like if we get too specific, I, I'm I'm very worried about the red flags of and being curtailed by DPU. Um, so if we can sort of keep it with us, you know, sort of a general statement about that as the driving factor versus the other, then maybe that would be, you know, and I would I would look to Paul's guidance on that too. So Andrew, are you where are you with that? Sorry, you needed. Andrew, are you you are you with us or? I'm still here, but it might be taking over baby entertainment. Okay. <laughs> um. So we were just talking about the you know just making raising this to Paul is, can we make greenhouse gas emissions the driving factor and have a statement about that rather than the statement about the renewable energy supply um, without listing these specifics? I think Chris and I both feel a little bit uncomfortable about having the specific language. So I say we just raise it to Paul. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Um, I, you know, I can certainly share Darcy's comments with him. Um, and I'll just sort of add my own notes. Uh, you know, uh, post this conversation, maybe. Does that seem like an okay approach to sending this response to him? I'm sorry, say again, Stephanie? So I was just saying that I can, so, I can forward Darcy's comments to him, but also with some um, statement about, you know, our conversation today and some of the tweaks to what she's suggesting. And that wondering, you know, I'd like to, in her comments, ask Paul, you know, are A, B, and C too specific? Should we, could we just change the language to make this reflect GHG emissions as a driving factor versus renewable energy supply, you know, and just have that as a comment on the side to Paul. Or do we do want to just eliminate A, B, and C altogether and not even bother sharing that with him? 
why don't we get his opinion on it? Yeah. Could, could yeah, I mean, we could just include it in an email or something. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to yeah. forward her comments, but I want to have our weighing yeah. in on this. Right. Yeah. You know, we can, yeah. we understand that this might, be, you know, let us know what, what here would flag. Deep okay. to worry about what we're planning. Okay. All right. All right. So moving on then to electricity choices. Darcy is suggesting that we eliminate the 100% option in favor of the local option. Um, my, my gut instinct is no. We want to keep all four options because it gives us um, flexibility. But I know what she's saying. <clears throat> um, And particularly since we're not going to, I mean, we actually really don't know how we're going to do the local fund yet. And it's, that is so unknown. Well, she has specific questions about that. She does. And if we got on it now and started assessing what the um, availability of local recs is, um, it might not be so hard. Like we know that um, Michael Doctor Doctor is a um, local aggregator, and I don't I don't know what his supply is like, but um, we should find out. Yeah, so we can send her questions to Paul. Yeah, I like I said, I'm just going to forward this to Darcy. If I mean uh, to Paul. Um, unless people either want to add to it or edit it a bit. If we're not in agreement with what she's asking is, um, I guess where I'm going. Like, I don't want him to read this and think that we all think we should eliminate the 100% option. Right. Right. I think right. we just want his opinions about this. We want his opinions on the questions. Okay. Yeah, I think actually one of the answers on is, you know, number two, they've actually kind of stopped the Rex program with the SMART program. But anyhow, let Paul, let Paul respond to that. But there will be some credit, some, you know, way of counting, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there is. I think when they went to the um, SMART program, they basically eliminated the ability of buying wrecks and retiring them. They got rid of that ability. That, that can't be because that's how we know the utilities are meeting their obligations. Yeah, it's um, but we'll ask Paul. Ask Paul. Hopefully he knows that more in and out than I do. Okay, sorry, was there, I was distracted and doing something else. Ask Paul, what are we asking Paul? Just to have him go over the questions. Okay. I was just kind of believing that number two won't be possible because of the way I understand the SMART program to work, but I might be wrong, so. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I wonder too, I mean, if, like them, I guess they could be community solar projects. I'm just kind of thinking aloud. You know, if the municipal load is being met by, for the most part, by, and when I say municipal load, I just mean municipal buildings because there was something about municipal buildings here. Um, most of that load is being met by the solar landfill project. Um, and I don't even know how many municipal building options we have for solar. You know, so I'm just wondering if that, I don't know, I'm just sort of ruminating in my head about how that all would play out. How, how is, how are, how are you using a landfill 
solar to provide renewable energy to the municipality? We're just the off taker. Just the town town accounts are the off taker for the solar landfill project. So Which you're the off taker, you, did... you mean you buy net metering credits? Yes. Okay, so no, not... no, I'm sorry. We're getting a reduced electricity. I'm sorry. We're getting a reduced electricity yeah. rate is all. Yes. So you don't but it's just so it's applying the yeah, it's just a pot, it's just a it's essentially we're just getting our yeah, we're just getting our um electricity yeah. rate from the from the solar landfill project. Right. But you're not getting the recs. You're not buying the recs. They're selling the recs to the utilities, yes. presumably. So we can't count that as get, we, you're not getting the green attribute. Right. Yeah. So it's not covering the load, but it is contributing to the New England class one racks. Yeah. Yes. I guess that's, yeah, where I'm going. I think it's important how we talk about this as we get closer and closer to, you know, figuring our um, emissions. Mm -hmm. No, I agree. Um, Cause it's, it's very confusing. Yeah. So, um, Okay. Yeah, pass these by Paul. I mean, Paul is very patient, willing to answer our questions. <laughs> yeah, no, he is. Way. And unless, so I guess what I would ask then, just in the interest of time. So I think what I want to do is I'll forward our um, comments about the outreach and education plan to Marlena. I'll forward the stuff about the CCA review, the, the stuff that Darcy brought up. What I would ask is if there's anything else that anybody sees in the aggregation plan. I mean, it sounded like we really have not a lot that we can tweak, is what Paul pretty much said. Um, so there's not a lot of area for us to edit, really. Mm -hmm. um, he said that about the, oh no, he said that about the supply. The contract, supply contract, he was very. He, yeah. Don't want to don't want to open that can of worms. Yeah, yeah. No, but he even even with the CCA though, he said there wasn't like a lot yeah. that we can, you know, there's not a lot that we can really veer from. And I think the reason, as I recall, he he wants to present something in the DPU that's very familiar to them. Because if it's not familiar, they need to stop and think about it and everything stops. So if you give them something that's pretty plain Jane, then it's more likely to move through fast. That's the impression I have. And I feel like given what municipalities seem to be facing, and I know it's kind of on, it's on the, the DPU is kind of on the line right now about this, but I know it just sounds to me like with all of the communities that are in line waiting for review of their proposals, which I would imagine many of them are pretty straightforward. The fact that we have anything that's even remotely different mm -hmm. makes me nervous <laughs> in terms of timing. Mm -hmm. But, but just... it, it also means that ours isn't going to be the first in line. And no matter how quickly we got it in, it's going to be under the new administration. Yeah. And I would be very interested in. Um, testing, you know, the new administration's DPU. To... Good point. Or, or who yeah. are they going to assign? I mean, don't, yeah. don't, doesn't the, doesn't the new governor assign the head of the DPU? I'm not sure. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And let's, yeah. assuming all things go well, <laughs> um, you know, I would think that it's going to be a more forward-thinking DPU this next re, uh, this next iteration of the DPU too, because I'm thinking just in terms of all the pushback that they've just recently gotten from so many communities, um, yeah, and bad press and bad press mm -hmm. that I think they they have to you know sort of increase the speed at which they review these proposals 
but also I think they need to obviously be more open to the goals that the state has set for itself. Exactly. I mean, they have to be, you know, so this is, um, okay. So, all right. So are we good with that? It's 1130. I feel like we've yeah. covered a good bit of stuff and I can forward these things along and I'll try to, um, I think I'll just forward them to, to Paul and Marlena. Um, I won't schedule a meeting with them. I'll just sort of forward this along. And if they want to schedule a follow-up meeting, I'll sort of ask for their guidance if they think that's needed. Unless you all want to meet with them again before they submit anything. Nope. Sounds good. Yeah. They're probably going to send it to us for one final review anyway, I would think. Yeah. And I think the questions are are easily are answerable through response, the email response. Yeah, I think, yeah, Paul, I think we'll be able to just respond. So, all right, I will, um, I will do that. I will do that now. Um, and for our next meeting, um, let's see, today's the third. Um, I can't, so Darcy would prefer we don't meet on this, on a Thursday, Tuesday or Thursday. She has right. her children, grandchildren, right? So Monday won't work for me. I think, let me just see right now. This is oh, I probably Wednesday? really have to do it with Tom in the room. I think Wednesday is. Early I'll just throw it out there. I'm just throwing out like what works for us and I'll throw out a date to everybody else, but I'd like to at least propose a date. The ninth. Um, okay. Well, hoping we can get comments back from Paul by then, but okay. okay. Let's tell them we'd like them by the ninth. Yeah, I will. I will. Um, just again, I mean, I can tell him, I just don't know that he'll be able to, but that's okay. I'll ask. Um, so Wednesday, the 9th at 10. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'll see if Tom, I'm going to ask Tom first, if it doesn't work for Tom, I'm going to see if I can find another one. Okay. Thank you both so much. Andrew, do you have just a minute to hang on? Yeah. Yeah. You want to stop the recording? I can show you the Yes. Piece. Yes. So let me first stop sharing. And then I will stop the recording. Here, 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 here.